assalamu alaikum and welcome to this video on pivot tables uh, pivot tables are are in fact tables uh, which are very useful uh, we might we might think that tables are are not that much interactive but pivot tables allow me to see actually more than two uh, see actually at least two uh, dimensions and analyze the value of a critical kpi across that along with applying filters so let's make a pivot table uh let's say i want to go for the brand uh and also i can add multiple here but i just want to see the uh the, the manufacturing site and the brand and the measure i want to see is the total is the delivery delay in fact and i can see um So styling is pretty neat. We can have the indented rows, and if I click on this now, so I have a brand. Let me just uh, so to select all, and for the manufacturing side, I can also select all. So. it wants me to browse like this it's pretty uninteractive so obviously uh, i can uh, have a filter here and see only the that's the in fact that's the purpose of a pivot table that i can only see what i want to see so so just uh, so let me let me say that i'm only interested in doing five of the so something like that so just click on okay and uh, just you know edit sheet and just stretch it up here so that i can see it uh and also brand let's say i'm not interested in doing all of these obviously is too much data so let me see i let me say i just interested in these three okay so i have now this uh, pivot table like this so i just have these three manufacturing sites uh and let me add uh, let the pistol one as well Uh, that did not make a difference so and these are the brands that i want to analyze so i can add a few more here so now i have a pretty good multi dimensional view uh because i can actually view things across the different uh, shipment modes so it's uh, actually okay so you can see that the, the values are changing with respect to whatever I, i select here so that's the purpose of a pivot table uh it is with a with with two filters there and uh, with a row and a dimension added in the pivot table uh it's going to be very useful for us to to discover why things are happening the way they are happening along with obviously the charts that i have charts i'm using so in this sheet i have let's say four types of filters that are there so that's the purpose of a pivot table so i changed things a bit so i just uh, changed the filters a bit so i included all the brands and a few manufacturing sites along with all the shipment modes and uh, i can also you know do this so you see uh, i can now analyze things Uh, very clearly here uh, with respect to the delay being caused by different manufacturing sites so if i'm interested in one particular site like roche so i know that roche is causing the delay to me in the brand in veraz uh, across all these uh, shipment modes the total day is that so the delay remains the same so it's probably occurring just for the air
So the total delay is not changing with respect to this. In any case, uh, we, we know now the purpose of the pivot table. We, when we want to add, when we want to analyze two things, uh, which, are, which are basically more appropriate for filter level data, but we still want to analyze them because they're more critical than a filter level application. So we can put them in a pivot table uh, in a side and just uh, monitor, to monitor the situation. So the table can be somewhere here. And you know, I can just uh, put some other chart here. So thanks for watching this video.